Hi, my name's Tamika Mundy, and I'm manager for career education for primary schools across Tasmania. Welcome guys, thank you for participating today. I'm going to be talking to you about science investigations. I can see that you guys have already created your cars and they look absolutely fantastic, well done. Quarry-based learning prioritises problems that require students to use their critical and creative thinking skills. This develops their ability to ask questions, design investigations, interpret evidence, form explanations and arguments and communicate their findings. So with the derby cars, students could investigate how fast the derby cars can go or they might like to look at how far the derby cars can go. Um, to do this, they would need to um, consider variables, so things like the size of the wheels, the length of the car, um, the properties of material that the track is made out of. There's a huge range of different variables that they could consider. What's some scientific words that we might use when we're doing an investigation? So just pop up your hand if you can think of a word that you might use as a scientist. Hypothesis, that's correct. So every science investigation will have a hypothesis. And that is a real fancy word, but it's a word that you guys need to start using because you'll use it all the way through the rest of your education. Has anyone heard of the word variable? Excellent. There are three types of variables. Does anyone know one of the variables? Independent variable. So the independent variable is the one thing that we change in our investigation. Yep. Perfect, dependent variable. Dependent variable is the thing that we measure because of our um, independent variable. And the final one, we did mention it, but I'll say it again, controlled variable. Controlled variables are the, the things that stay the same. So we need to keep everything else the same apart from that one thing that we change. A fair test is where you change one thing at a time and keep everything at like the same. I investigated the weight. Um, I didn't put too much weight on or not too much weight on it. Um, I put the paper clip on the back so that it had some weight on the back as well to maybe push it down. Um, since I knew we were going down a ramp, I added heavier stuff on my car so the gravity would pull it down faster. I mostly investigate aerodynamics thinking of how the wind can change how fast my car goes. Our independent variable was what shape it was. Um, I made it white, but it ended up to be heavy. My independent variable was probably the shape of the car and how we could, like, how it could deal with the wind. When I'm older, I want to get an engineering degree, so I'm gonna have to learn them all over again. Building and, yeah, lots of other things.